KPIS 302. Um, I am trying to do module seven's video a day or two early. Uh, don't panic, of course. Uh, just that we have a finite schedule, as you know. We're done on June 27th, a week from tonight, as I video this. Um, live from Brookfield, Wisconsin. A decent day, finally. So I am just going to tell you first that you guys are all rocking it. Seriously, you're doing uh, the work. Great job with the work you're doing. Um, one thing about summer, you either got to get all in or you can't get in. And that's what's tough about it. But you did great. So uh, we have this, you know, plagiarism software called Turnitin, I believe, on Canvas. Um, and I didn't have it turned on. <laughs> For the lit reviews, I had it turned on for proposal. And I'm gonna have it turned on for the final paper. So if you got comments from me about direct quotes that were not cited properly, um, and uh, <laughs> how you doing? Uh, if you do, if if you have that, um, I'm all distracted now. If you get comments from me about citing direct quotations, then get those done. Okay uh change those make sure you when you do direct quotes if you're taking word for word for you know any reasonable sentence quotation marks on that okay don't just attribute it at the end of the citation because you're quoting word for word so you're not you're not contextualizing and summarizing it and put it in a, a different form right okay um so that's going to be look for that in the final paper um okay now, remember, I'm going to talk about the points later, of course. Hey, course evaluations are out. I received an email yesterday, I think. So they open, I think, on the 19th. Please participate in the course evaluation. Really helps us out. Even though this course is kind of going bye-bye after session B, we're going to revamp the thing. But uh, I really appreciate your feedback, okay? Um, so... Uh, let's do Easter egg number one uh, already. And, and remember what I had said, I'm going to do a little different thing in Easter egg number one. I want you to tell me an Easter egg, you know, put it in your email, Easter egg number one. Uh, the question I'm asking is, what did you do this session to be successful in this class? What, what would you recommend any other student that's taking a 38-day, three-credit, 300-level course? What do you do? What's your secret? Let me know. That's Easter egg one. Okay. So let's go into module seven. By the end of this module, students will be able to practice interpreting results, analyze results for findings and insights, clearly articulate a research study from start to finish, critically examine and critique research studies. So we've touched on a lot of that stuff already. Your, your completion of this paper now is going to really, I think that ties it up for you. I hope you'll be able to recognize research better in the future. Uh, you'll understand qualitative, quantitative, You'll, you'll know, you know, the veracity of a, a research project when you when you see one, okay, whether, whether it's in the news uh, or uh, in any of your courses, okay? Um, so, and you're going to be analyzing results, and you're, you're practicing interpreting results. Well, that's what you're doing. Uh, worksheet 8 is going to, you know, help you brainstorm your uh, uh, results and how you see those and how you're going to do it. So, because what you want to do in the final paper is you want to analyze in your discussion, uh, analyze the results. Show me with pie charts, bar graphs, talk about it, write about it too. It's more important to write about, it, of course. Um, and you decide, you know, what's the right information, what's not the right information. All right. So, okay. Uh, I mean, as far as too much information, I meant, I think. Okay. So, Let's go with um, Easter egg number two already. All right, Easter egg two is answer this question. What did I do to help you be successful in this 38-day course? I mean, I, I was kind of all over the place a little bit, but I hope that um, uh, you, know, you found that I was empathetic to this kind of schedule. And just let me know, Easter egg number two, what did I do to help you be successful? Okay, so the final paper, you got the peer review. All right, same as last time, do two peer reviews for your rough draft. Remember, I'm really not critiquing the content of your rough draft. I'm only critiquing that you put a rough draft up there, that you did two critiques for your peers, and we're on our way, right? Okay, so that's good, so we know that. And the final paper is going to be due a week from tonight by midnight. Make sure you get those in on time, okay? And I'm going to get this course finished, scored, 
hopefully by next weekend, the weekend after next, I should say, right? Because session B starts July 3rd, right? Like everybody wants to start a course that day. Okay, so remember, it's total points in this class. All right, I did the math. I set up this course the way it came out with videos and things to have 1,055 points, all right? So if you're looking at your total percentage um, and you think you got to get a 90 to get an A, no, because there's 1,055 points, you need 86% of those to get an A, you need 76% of those to get a B, and 66% to get a C. But that's, like I said, just, just so you don't freak out when you see percentages, because points are what, is what matters, right? You've got to get 900 points for an A, you've got to get 800 points for a B, and you've got to get 700 points for a C. Really want to be clear. I don't like people getting confused by that, freaking out, okay? Um, again, course evaluations. I beg you to do those, okay? It's really important for me to get those done. I like to see the results. It's anonymous, just like this survey you're doing. So you've got anonymity there. And uh, let's see, Easter egg number three is what can I do what can I do for future student success? What do you think I can do? I know you're going to put some of this in evaluation, but I still want you to give me that for Easter egg number three. You're going to earn those five points. Sorry. It doesn't have to be long. Just just give me some brief things on all those. Just That's all I'm doing, right? Okay. So now let's uh, – I'm at this thing called a beer garden. I don't know what's uh, going on. Okay. So questions? Ask. Um let me know. Hey, I gotta show you. You know, I've been driving around all summer. This baby, this is my, this is my, this is my, this is my girl, <laughs> um, my my Rubicon. Uh, so uh, you guys just um, have a good rest of the summer. They, those of you that are taking session B classes, are you insane? Um, and uh, let me know if you got any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, shoot me an email. Hopefully, I've been responding quick enough to you guys and. Um, you're doing great. There's a lot of great grades in this class, okay? Keep it up. I'm going to sign off. Forked up. Peace. See you.